Hello everybody, Manalus here, and today is the uh, loadout tutorial, and this will work in multiplayer, and it'll be awesome. Okay, so this is the uh, first person template, nothing is modified in this. Um, nothing at all, as you can see, nothing. I have not changed a thing. Uh, if we go and hit play, it's the same old, same old. You know, shooting the boxes, making them bounce around. Um, so, to get started, we are going to go into the first person blueprint. And over here in the first person blueprint, there's much to do. Um, first off, we are going to set the mesh to... No, just no. Only owner seat. No, we don't want that. We want to see our stuff, okay? So now this should, because there's a rendering problem that I, I would have in the middle. So you can see we have the balls. We're shooting at each other. It's great. It's wonderful. Yes. Okay. So we're here. As you can see, we're holding the gun, and we don't want to instantly spawn in with a gun, because we want to have the choice to choose whatever gun we want. And first off, we're going to delete that. Um, you just compile. N nothing's wrong with that. You just have to go over here, and let's click this, see where this is at. Just disconnect you, and now we have that all done. And as you can see, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, and so if we hit play, uh, it's a little weird, but yeah, the spear's down there. We don't want that spear down there because it's just going to look weird. We're going to take that out of there. And uh, this is an error. Just take that out of there. And also, the annoying part is the shooting sound. Um, where's that sound thing at? First person fire. Fire first person projectile. We do not want you. Please go away. So now, should be completely silent. The player is still playing the animations and such, but that, that doesn't matter. First off, since we deleted that gun, we're going to go back. And we're going to the first person, we're going to the gun mesh, and right here, we're going to right click, create a blueprint, cl bl bl blueprint class, and we are going to call this the weapon. Very simple name, and get the skeletal mesh from the add components, it's going to automatically be right there. Over here in the details panel, you're going to want to go and choose the FD gun. And now you can see, and now you can see we have the gun right here and it looks amazing. So we're going to compile, save. That's all we need to do there now. And now that that's over with, we're going to go over here and create a new folder and we're going to call this UI or in other words, user interface. And so in user interface, we're going to create a widget blueprint. We're going to call this loadout and in the loadout, we, I don't know much about widgets and stuff, but this is how I did it. I would get a vertical box, drag it in there. It's pretty small as you can see, so we're going to make it a lot bigger. And so it's going to take up much of the screen, but then we're going to get a button. Now this button will be the, what we click to spawn in the gun into our hands. We're going to add padding there. How about 10? Just to make it look nicer, neater. Um, then we're going to get text. And we're going to put that right there. And we're going to call it weapon. Or let's give it some real name. M4A1. There we go. M4A1 right there. Compile, save. Now, now that we have that, 
over here, top, up here, first person character. We're going to go into the first person character. And over here, we are going to create four custom, no, not four, two custom events, my bad. Add custom, oh, custom event. And we're just going to control W that, just to copy paste, quick, fast, and easy. We're going to call this run on server spawn m4a1 and we're gonna do th on this we're gonna call this multicast spawn m4a1 so now that we have these on run on server spawn oh my bad that i guess i had caps on but who cares we got run on server spawn and we are going to set this to run on server and multicast we're going to set this to multicast very simple and off of run on server we're going to drag off and call the multicast caps lock is on uh multicast spawn m4a1 we're calling this this is a copy of this um so now we have the multicast here and what you want to do is spawn actor from class. So now we have spawn actor from class. Now we're going to look up our weapon. Our weapon, whatever we created. Our weapon, for example, our weapon is over here in the mesh. This is our weapon. We're calling this actor. Uh, right here, we're spawning it, and then we are going to grab Mesh2P, and we're going to drag off of this, and get Socket Transform. Now, here's this Get Socket Transform, and what I can recall is the socket name is Grip Point, and that's what is going on over there. So, over here... And the grip point, going to pull this up and out, and we are going to grab this and say attach to component. So the weapon, we're going to attach it to drag this from here, the mesh. Oh, didn't didn't come in correctly. Drag it out here, the mesh. This is the arms mesh, okay? And it's going to attach it to the mesh. And I just gonna set these to snap to world target. I'm I'm just gonna keep that as is. But also don't forget the socket name. The socket name for our mesh is grip point. So there's that. And we're gonna compile and save. Now, not to forget anything at all from this we are going to go back into the loadout menu and add the functionality of the button so click the button scroll all the way down and you see the event on clicked it's going to take you to the graph and here's the designer here's the graph gonna take you to the graph and you're going to drag off of here and we're going to cast to first person character first-person character we're basically getting information from our character and bringing it over here and I'm not an expert at these I've always had trouble with these but what I know is you can simply just get player character get player character and it's fine as is now what you want to do is you want to pull off of here and you're going to want to call run on server spawn and for a one this is calling this right here so from here it's going when you click the button it's gonna get information it's gonna go to run on server spawn and from run on server spawn it's gonna go into multicast and multicast and it'll spawn the weapon so we can compile and save that and so you'll notice that when you hit play nothing's gonna happen um, what you want to do is you want to go into the blueprints open level blueprint 
and you're gonna right click and hit on begin play event on begin play and off of event on begin play we're gonna create a widget we're going to say as soon as the game starts it's going to show the loadout menu that's basically what we're doing create widget and we're going to select the widget the loadout so now we have the loadout and just for this we're going to say um, get oh get player controller just for replication purposes and also we're going to say set or not set show set show mouse cursor so this will show the mouse cursor uh, as soon as the uh, thingy is spawned the the widget is spawned and off of the widget we're going to say add to viewport so now you have the add to viewport and you just connect it to there nothing needs to be messed with over here as soon as we compile save we can hit play and as you can see in the oh my bad something's oh yeah my bad uh, don't forget to click this check it make sure yes show the mouse and so now you can see the mouse we're going to tap the m4a1 and boom and as you can see over here i sorry you guys didn't get a good view as you can see over here the preview client can see that the server is holding a gun in their hands look at that isn't that amazing now over in the client we're going to click m4a1 and would you look at that it has spawned the m4a1 it's replicated and it is ready for your loadout menus and if you guys want to see any more tutorials anything really any tutorials um, comment and uh, leave a like and subscribe don't forget to subscribe and uh, also um, dev vlogs I'll try and post them at least once once every two weeks maybe but it all it all depends really anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this helps you a lot